In section 1-2, we want to talk about the general process of problem solving and develop a scheme that we can use to solve applied calculus problems, uh, regardless of what topic we're talking about. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to define what we mean by the mathematical model. And we do that in slide number two, we have a definition. Uh, we can see that a mathematical model is a function that is derived from a real-world situation. In other words, uh, we have our functions that we learned in college algebra, whether they be polynomial functions, exponential or logarithmic functions. And uh, what we want to do is to take those functions and make models with them. And notice here that mathematical models generally come from two sources. One, general principles of a, di of a discipline. For example, we talked about price demand uh, functions. Those were linear functions that were decreasing. And that comes from the, the area of economics. And uh, so we can use those general principles. Uh, the other way is to, and we do this more often, is to develop models using tabular data uh, a lot of times it's called time sequence data where the independent variable values are years and then we have some quantity for the y values and we use a process called regression modeling and we can use that statistics tool with our calculator to find polynomial functions exponential and logarithmic functions so we'll uh, by and large when we make our own models we'll use that process of regression modeling now, just as um, we have a domain with all algebraic functions, with mathematical models, we have a specialized domain. So we can define that in uh, slide number three and say that the reasonable domain of a mathematical model gives the possible independent variable values for which the model is defined. In other words, um, a model is only defined for its tabular values. So we have, to, we have to have a beginning point and an end point. So these reasonable domains are usually written using inequality notation. So they would say something like um, A is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to B, where A and B represent the end points, the beginning and end years for our model. And the thing that we have to caution about is that mathematical models are usually valid only for their reasonable domain. Meaning, we can't take a mathematical model and uh, have it extend out 20 years in the future because we don't know what's going to happen. So we can only use mathematical models in their reasonable domain. Now, let's take a look at an example of one of these uh, mathematical models and see what we can do with it. In, uh, on page 22, in exercise 22, it says that the number of lawyers in private practice in the U.S. can be modeled by the quadratic function f of x equals 0.37x squared minus 1.43x plus 190.34. And the reasonable domain there is the x values from 0 to 30. Here, x represents the number of years since 1960, and f of x represents the number of lawyers in private practice in thousands. Uh, so in part A, we want to evaluate f of 2 and interpret. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this is example 1. And here, just to remind us, we need to evaluate f of 2. So that means we take 2 and plug it in wherever we see an x. So we have 0.37 times 2 squared minus 1.43 times 2 plus 190.34. So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator now and see what we get. 0.37 times 2 squared minus 1.43 times 2 
plus 190.34. So it looks like when we evaluate that, we get 188.96. So let's go ahead and write that down. And let's just write down what that means. We'll talk about this more in a minute, what this means. So this means that in 1962, remember X represented the number of years since 1960, so X being 2 represents the year 1962. Uh, there were about 188.96 thousand lawyers in the U.S. So that's what evaluating um, that model at x equals 2 told us. That there were about 189,000 lawyers in private practice at the time. Now let's take a look at part B. It says explain why the model cannot be used to determine the number of lawyers in private practice in 1993. Well, let's see here. For 1993, the corresponding x value would be 1993 minus 1960, that's our starting year, and so we get 33. So let's just check that against the problem. Notice if we look at the reasonable domain of the model, it only goes up to x being 30. So it looks like uh, our value here is not in the in the reasonable domain. So let's write that down. Let's write that down for a solution. Since x equals 33 is not in the reasonable domain, of f, our model, 